a light in the window for me. So, you think Thomas Edison invented the electric light. What if I told you the electric light was invented by a New Hampshire guy back before the Civil War, a full 20 years before Edison produced his? Also, what if I told you this New Hampshire guy owned the first house in the entire world to be lighted by electricity, also before the Civil War? Well, both these statements are true, and the guy I am speaking of was one Moses Garish Farmer, who was born in Boscoan, New Hampshire, in 1820. Genius. Graduated from Phillips Academy and then Dartmouth and crazy for the new science of electricity. In 1838, Moses was 18 years old. That same year was the year that Samuel F. B. Morse made the first public demonstration of the invention of the telegraph. All the young scientists were captivated by this new electrical device, and Moses was no exception. He, in fact, became himself an expert telegraph operator. Nine years later, Moses Farmer made and exhibited an electric locomotive. Battery operated, carried two people on an 18-inch wide track, and it worked. In 1851, he invented, built, and installed in the city of Boston the very first citywide electric fire alarm system. By this time, he was living in Salem, Massachusetts, and here he invented an electric generator, named it for himself, the Farmer Dynamo. This generator was later upgraded and named the Wallace Farmer Dynamo, after himself and his partner at that time, William Wallace. At the age of 39, Moses Farmer lighted his home in Salem with platinum filament incandescent lamps that he invented himself and built himself. And it was the first house in the world to be electrified. His lamps, as I say, were made of platinum, very expensive. Later, Edison would invent a lamp with an inexpensive filament. Not the first electric light, but the first inexpensive one. Edison, by the way, used Moses Farmer's dynamo when he ran his electric light. So, why isn't Moses Farmer famous? Well, it seems he was a believing spiritualist, and his religion forbid him from taking out any patents on any of his inventions. So, other people got a lot of the credit that he should have received. Heck of a story. Who knew? After the break, your hometown weather. 